30 years since you won your last world championship. Of your four titles, how do you rate that 93 season? Excuse me to be a little bit brutal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is maybe the, the worst, in fact, you know, because uh, it reflects more or less. I'm going to be very direct, but the way I've been treated sometimes in my career. Because 93 was a very strange season, you know. I signed my contract with Frank very, very soon, beginning of 92, in fact, when I had my sabbatical year. And we started to have the argument, you know, with the air turn I wanted to drive, you know. But uh, the only thing I asked to Frank when we met for the first time talking about the contract that was in Paris, you give me the money you want. Uh, I don't want to be number one in a team, but the only thing I ask you is that I cannot be a teammate again with Ayrton. And uh, he said, yes, for sure, I understand, and we can put a clause on that. You know, that started like this. But the old season was really difficult, you know, because I don't want to go through all the episodes about the season, but uh, I never felt, never felt good. Obviously, when uh, when you win a race with uh, Williams at the time, you're... You, it's normal when you lose a race, you're stupid. And uh, uh, it, it's not exactly what you, a racing driver, is aiming for. You know, you need to have a sort of uh, uh, objective situation. And uh, that was not a very nice season. And when we started to have the problem of uh, when Frank came to me and said that I have a pressure from Renault because they want me to take their turn, I know that we have a contract and uh, such shit, you know. <laughs> Uh, that that that's not the best way, you know. To I had a two-year contract. And I know I was very supported by Patrick and Van Adrian, and uh, but you know we 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 were not in the sportive side, you know. And uh, I said, you know, I want to fight against Ayrton. No problem, you know, on the track, you know, no problem, but not as a teammate. So I cannot accept that. That is why the old '93 season at the end was not uh, not my best on the human side. Let's talk about the competitive side, first of all, because it seems to me 1993 was the first time in your career in which you'd gone into the season expecting and expected to dominate. How did that feel and how did it change your approach? It changed because of the, the perception of the people outside. Because for you, when you're a racing driver, I mean, uh, obviously, uh, ask uh, Max today because he has a dominating car, I mean, he's not going to change anything. He's going to try to win all the races he can and win the championship. And uh, for me, it was it was the same. It was uh, a new technology. It was uh, a new car, a new way of uh, setting up the car or even working with the engineers, which was not my best, uh, you know, my favorite uh, car uh, in terms of uh, I used to do more or less everything by myself with working with the engineers and the uh, with the active car, it was more done by the engineers working on the computer, you know, of, uh, working on suspension. So that that is maybe the biggest problem. But otherwise, uh, I did not have a very different approach. I had a fantastic teammate with uh, Demon. He was uh, really helpful. He had more experience than myself on the active car because he was uh, testing uh, the car before. So it was all different. But at the end, your philosophy is the same. The only Big difference is you're fighting against uh, Ayrton with a very, very good chassis because, in fact, I drove the same chassis the year after, you know, with the Peugeot engine. Maybe not the same uh, powerful engine that is obvious, you know, but he had, a, for me, a better suspension, better electronic on the car. And that we that's what we saw also in Donington on the wet where we were struggling with the downshifting and things like this. But you cannot explain that. At the end of the day, you could try to explain why you are good or why you're not uh, as good. Uh, nobody understands that in this situation. You know, you always take the, the defense of the, the, the driver looks uh, weak in terms of, uh, of car, which was not true everywhere. Some places for sure, because our engine was much more powerful. That is, uh, that is true. But it was a very difficult car to, to drive. Very, very difficult. So that was its biggest strength, was it? The, the FW15's engine, because you say the McLaren had the better chassis, the, the better electronics. So if I was to say to you, what was the Williams' greatest strength, you'd say the engine. If you compare to the competitors, engine first, 
but obviously it's always a package. Uh, the car was really good some places, much more difficult to drive other places. And, uh, you know, the, the, the position in the car for me was not, not as uh, comfortable than I wanted to. Even Ayrton had the problem, the, uh, you know, when he, he placed me. Uh, yeah, it was not uh, not that easy, you know, the, the gear change uh, until the middle of the season where we improved that. It, it was a difficult car to drive considering the, the performance. Obviously, it was very powerful and uh, it was uh, no places where we were, you know, far behind. But at the end of the year, if you remember, the last two races in Japan, in uh, Adelaide, I've tried to do my best to finish with a win. It was not possible. You know, the, the, the McLaren was much quicker. 